Today we are covering ServiceNow IT Service Management CIS ITSM. To find the complete list of questions and answers, please go to the playlist link provided in the description. Question is which of the following statements best describes the purpose of enable wish list checkbox in the catalog form? Option A. It gives the admin insight on the most frequently visited service request forms. Option B. It allows users to submit suggestions for features or new services. Option C. It allows requesters to partially fill a service request form and submit the service request letter. Option D. It allows requesters to select catalog items that they wish to get. Correct answer is option C. Next question is which of the following cannot be performed by public users? Option A. Read categories. Option B. Read catalog item. Option C. Read catalog tasks. Option D. Read catalog definition. Correct answer is option C. Next question is the contextual search feature allows end users to see related knowledge articles, catalog items, resolved incidents and resolved problems to help them solve their problem before they rise an incident. Option A. True. Option B. False. Correct answer is false. Next question is how to add restriction on moving incidents from one state to another. Option A. Modify the incident state UI policy. Option B. Modify records in the records state transition table. Option C. Modify the script of the save UI action. Option D. Modify the incident state script include. Correct answer is option D. Next question is article versioning can be enabled by setting the property enable article versioning feature to yes options are true or false correct answer is true next question is how to configure the fields to be copied from the original incident when an incident is copied option a modify the incident property com.snc.incident.copy.attributes option b Modify the incident property com.snc.incident.copy.columns. Option C. There is pre predefined set of fields to be copied and they cannot be changed. Option D. Modify the incident property com.snc.incident.copy.fields. Correct answer is option A. Next question is one of the features in ServiceNow ITSM is to keep monitoring configuration items and identify recurring issues. Options are true or false. Correct answer is true. Next question is how to see which record producers and catalog items are using a certain variable set. Option A. In the variable set, Check the record procedures, record producers related list. Option B. Check the variable sets mapping table. Option C. None of the listed answers. Option D. In the variable set, check the included in related list. Correct answer is option D. Next question is what will be the change request state once a member of the CAB approval group? rejects the approval request. Option A. Assess. Option B. New. Option C. Rejected. Option D. Cancelled. Correct answer is Option B. Next question is what will be the new state once you click on the mark duplicate button in the problem form? Option A. Closed. Option B. Duplicated. Option C. Cancelled. Option D. Resolved. Correct answer is 
option A. Next question is, it is possible to use the same categories for both incidents and problems. Options are true or false. Correct answer is true. Next question is, once the change request state, changes to review, the user should fill the mandatory fields in the review form. Options are true or false. Correct answer is false. Next question is, which of the following properties is used to decide which knowledge base will be used to create known error articles for problems? Now see the options, option A, B, C and D. Correct answer is option C, 